Hey everyone, before we get into today's video, we have a new donation link. It's down in the description. If you're so inclined, we very much appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get to today's video. This week, the one man a human champion of the parish took the vote by a long way. Champion of the parish is a 1 1 human soldier for one white mana that states whenever another human creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Champion of the Parish. Originally printed in Innistrad and sitting right at around $4, this card has some unique value to the game of Magic. Champion of the Parish is a card that fits into the sweet spot of magic, being good enough to see playing competitive constructed decks, while remaining cheap enough for new players to pick up and enjoy for their kitchen table decks. For a lot of us, white beatdown decks were a great starting point to learn the game, and the Champion was always a great include. In breaking down the card, we really see why it works well as an intro card for new players. Starting with decent stats at 1-1 one, one for 1 is a good base to be able to understand the importance of power and toughness. Additionally, having an ability that promotes synergy within a deck provides a basis for new players to understand the importance of ground up deck building. What is unique about this card is that you can take it from a kitchen table deck to a constructed competitive deck without any problems. While not necessarily tier 1 deck lists, Champion of the Parish fits well into white, beatdown, life gain, and hate bear strategies. In fact, we just saw it hit the top 8 of Grand Prix Balabo in two deck lists, both running four champions and a five color human shell. Additionally, it does see some playing commander, again being played mostly in white aggro strategies. In these decks, the champion manages to fill a very key support role that allows these decks to have a bit more longevity. A turn one champion, if left unanswered, can build and build until it becomes absolutely massive. At that point, it becomes all too easy to swing in for a massive amount of damage and outpace your opponent. Additionally, due to the low mana cost of the champion, it is extremely efficient. This allows you to potentially play the champion and instantly boost its stats with another one or two creatures. Unfortunately, there are some major downfalls to the champion when it comes to competitive play. The champion offers no protection for himself and falls prey to many of the popular removal spells that we see in modern. Fatal Push being the most obvious choice to hit such a low costed card, in addition, it can be relatively easy for an opponent to hold a Lightning Bolt or a Path to Exile until just the right moment. This makes for some awkward gameplay if you overcommit to the Champion. It's important not to forget the impact of cards like Champion of the Parish that bridge the gap between casual and competitive magic. We might see it shake the meta sometime soon, as it still makes for a strong support card and a great way to intro the game to new players looking to learn. If you enjoyed this week's Card Spotlight video, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for all of our other content. You can vote for next week's Card Spotlight either in the comment section down below or on any of our other social media platforms. Links are in the description below. Next week's theme is Cantrips, and the choices are Ponder, Preordain, or Brainstorm. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.